if melatonin is blocked by receptors, why does lack of light work to help with sleep? Why, why does that compensate? If, they're, if the melatonin receptors are being blocked, right. then how does access to light actually well, still the, work? The, the, the issue with melatonin happening with dementia people is not that melatonin has been blocked, it's the receptors inside the brain, the, inside the brain is getting downregulated. It means it's not as effective as, as, as non-demented people. Now, the, the things about the melatonin is they still have receptors for the natural melatonin. Uh, but the, the issue is that we should not expect, and that's a very, very important message that I'm trying to tell always, that never expect the demented patients, any type of them, they're going to have a normal sleep cycle. And that's exactly the reason, because they usually have a very fragmented sleep. If you calculate this amount of sleep, and if they're even with a fragmented sleep, they have like 6, 8 hours, 10 hours of sleep during the day, I mean, 24 hours, that's okay. That's a normal sleep actually for them. Um, but because of the game, the dysregulation of melatonin, they're never going to go to six and eight hours of a sleep at, in the 24 hours. And that's why melatonin is actually not blocked, it's dysregulated. But think about if we expose them with the, the, the things about melatonin, because a lot of people ask me this question, is should we use melatonin? First of all, melatonin, the supplement that we take, um, it's also a medication, and actually one of the side effects of melatonin is make the sedation and also confusion at night as well. And I see some people actually go with a high dose of melatonin. None of the actual neurologists or sleep specialists there are actually agree with using melatonin on a dementia patient. The reason is, first of all, they don't have enough receptor for external melatonin to come. Plus, this melatonin state, when you don't have receptors, they're not going to go anywhere. They start to become toxic. And that's what they're going to end up with the sedation, confusion, and they may actually increase the fall. Melatonin is, is can be effective, cannot be effective. I'm actually, as a geriatrician, I'm not a big fan of the melatonin, especially in my dementia patient, because I've never seen effectiveness on melatonin in any of this mm -hmm. patient. And that's about the melatonin. I, and, I, and I talk to many people, neurologists, sleep specialists, they also as well. There's not any conclusive study also shows melatonin. Uh, even in the high dose, it's going to be effective. May also going to be the same effect on other sleeping medication that we actually give it to them. Make them sedated, drowsy, and stuff.